The race-based software has an index program that when used for junior dragsters can tell you exactly how much weight to put into your variable weight tank to hit the 790, 890, or 1190 index that you're striving for. The process is pretty simple and we're going to go through it now. Here we have our logbook already set up for an 890 junior. You can see the last race was a points race and the weather is already live and logging. The first thing that I need to do is customize the prediction formula for the particular car. To do this, click on the green predict icon, then expand the predict tab out. Here we have our prediction report card. This is where we will analyze your past events and tell you how close each prediction method would have gotten to your actual ET. Now I know that I added 5 pounds after the first time run, and it's not quite smart enough to recognize that yet, so it gave me an F for the first one. Now from the first to second round, it should give me good grades. You can see single run no wind is a B, with wind is an A, both Bagaki methods are Bs, and my junior dragster method is an A. If I want to customize one of these formulas, just click on Customize, then select the formula you want to edit. Here the Junior Dragster with Win formula utilizes the single run no win prediction method and then has an additional adjustment for headwind and humidity grains. This allows me to customize the prediction formula for my particular car. If my car is more sensitive to wind because it's an 1190, then I want to hit the more button and make it more sensitive. If you're running a heavy 790 package, then you would be less affected by wind. One of the big questions we typically get is, okay, great but how do I know what value to put inside of this prediction formula? To figure that out, we'll open up another tab and go to Tune Up, then select the Variable Effect on ET option. Here we have the ability to compare two runs, strip the weather out of the equation, and determine how much a variable change like headwind or variable weight actually makes a difference on your ET. Since I'm trying to determine how much the headwind affects my ET, I want to compare two runs where I know that the only thing that changed was the headwind. So first I pump in the second run, then I pump in the third run, and now you can see here that for every 1.938 miles an hour of wind, my ET changes 0.01. I can take the 1.938 value and go back to my prediction formula and punch that value in for my headwind adjustment. Now once I save it, it will reanalyze my past event with this new formula and tell me, if I had this formula last week, how accurately would it have predicted my ET? And you can see here that we would have predicted within one thousandths of what we actually ran. This allows you the ability to fine tune a prediction method during the week when you can't race so that when you do go out to the track you have a massive amount of confidence in your prediction formula. But this is a video about index dialing and how to know how much weight to put in your tank. So why am I talking about dialing methods? And if you click on customize and select the junior dragster index with wind then you will see that this formula actually uses whichever prediction formula you want. The idea here is that we first use your prediction method to determine how much the car will pick up or slow down. Then we run another adjustment that will tell you how much weight to change to hit that index. This means that if you have multiple kids, you can create a dial-in program unique for each of them and then a unique index dial-in for them as well. Here you will see we have the desired ET value and you can put something like 789 if you want to be holding a number. Then you have the variable weight index adjustment. Just like the ET prediction, this is another number that we can customize and fine tune over time. So just like before, we'll go back to our tune up tab. This time we'll select variable weight and now we're going to look at our logbook and determine which runs we should compare. Well, as you see here, the only runs that had a change in variable weight was between run one and two. So I'll pump both of these runs into the tool, and now it tells me that it takes 0.820 pounds to move my ET by 0.01. Now I can go back over to the Predict tab, input my 0.82 value, and save. Unfortunately, the index formulas can't be used in the prediction report card, so we can't do much more fine-tuning besides deciding how much weight truly affects your ET 100. Feel free to modify this number however you feel you need to. Now that we have a customized ET and index prediction, how do we use it? So let's say we show up to a new race and haven't raced in a week or two. The weather has changed enough that you have no clue what it's going to run and you're just waiting to see what the first time run says so you know if you need to add or remove some weight. In this scenario, your first pass is a question mark. With the race base, we can click on the run we want to predict off of. 
in this case the last pass of our last race, and click on the purple predict icon. As you can see here, the weather hasn't changed too much, and we're expected to run 891 with a 7. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see we are using the Junior Dragster with Wind formula for the ET prediction. If I change this to my Junior Dragster index with Wind, then you'll now see how many pounds you need to have in your variable weight tank. The previous pass, I had 5 pounds, and in order to hit my 890 index, I need to have 3.62 pounds, which means I need to remove 1.38 pounds from the tank. The value here is the value of how much weight needs to be in the weight tank total. And this is value here is how much you are changing from the previous pass. So if you have this prediction set up for showing weight, it will page or text you the total amount that should be in the weight tank, making it so that you don't have to do math in the lanes. In the earlier scenario, the first pass of the day was a question mark and almost a wasted pass. With the race pace, our first pass of the day isn't wasted at all and allows you to have an additional pass to try to hit that mark. For our PDRA racers that are doing index, this feature is worth its weight in gold. If you have any versions earlier than 2.0.4, then you will need to download the latest version by clicking on the settings inside of the software and then software update. There you will see the link for the latest version. Download and install it. Once installed, you will need to reset your formulas to take advantage of the new features. So if you have already customized your formulas, please jot down your values so we can re-enter them later. Once installed, go to Settings, Debug Mode, and type in Reset Formulas, all lowercase and all one word. Then hit Enable Debug. It will say User has been deleted. It's okay, it's just the formulas. The program will restart and you'll be good to go. For more information, go to Computech.com.